Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two bottles of water. First up is Aqua 8.8. Next up is the Pure Water Jug. So what these two have in common is these are both bottles that I got in Philadelphia when I went on that bus trip to Philadelphia. And other than that, these don't really have that much in common. Um, let's start off with the water jug. Because I don't really know anything about this this water because all that the label says is just the water jug. This is the most vague like label on any product ever that I've ever seen. Like it just says the water jug and then there's a barcode. And I tried scanning the barcode with an app and nothing comes up. And there's no nutritional information, no like description of the water. There's a couple drops of water. Other than that, that's all I know about this water. And an interesting thing about this is this plastic is not transparent. It's the same kind of material that these big gallon jugs come in. That's what it feels like anyway. And other than that, I don't really know anything else about this water. <laughs> Next up, Aqua 88. This has, I'm sorry, Aqua 84. This has a pH level of nine and it says it has five grams of sodium, which I think is bad in general. I guess they, they say they add it for added um, flavor and tastes. But it has zero calories, zero fat, zero carbs, zero protein. They say they add calcium hydroxide and magnesium chloride and potassium bicarbonate for just added taste and whatever. So let's open these up. I really don't have much else to say about these and just do a taste test comparison. This has the full size lid. It's got a dark lid. It also has a dark bottle. Like it's, it's actually darker than this one. Um, that might be to prevent sun from getting into the bottle, to prevent stuff from growing in it. Maybe. I don't really know. I'm just guessing why it's dark. So here we go. So, oh, that tastes pretty good. Yeah, a little sweet. Like the, uh, I guess the electrolytes, the sodium adds a little sweet taste. Like uh, maybe I'm tasting calcium or something. Whatever they added to it. The source says it's from the Himalayan salt crystal, which whatever that means. Uh, but it says it's, the company is in New York. And on the company's website, they say that they're a sponsor of the American Diabetes Association. Tastes pretty good. Like there's no no um no bad aftertaste. Let's open this one. I'm kind of interested. I'm I'm curious if this is gonna have the same aftertaste as these big gallon containers because it's the same kind of plastic. It has like a weird lid too. Like oh, there's no pop. Oh okay okay good. I was worried. I was, I was thinking there's no pop when it opens up, but there is actually a label covering it up. But this. This is so weird, like, just everything about this bottle, because this, that didn't feel right coming off. It felt like it was just sitting on top, kind of. It tastes kind of chemically. <laughs> and also, I found nothing online about this bottle. Like, I didn't find any website. There's a product called the Water Jug, which looks like this, kind of, but it has nothing to do with this bottle. Another thing about this is the label is not like a sticker. <laughs> I think they just printed out the label and then taped it on with like mailing tape because it, it just looks like standard mailing tape. Just like this, just holding the label on. So, <laughs> this might just be toilet water. Like, this is so sketchy. Here, here we go. Ugh. Yeah, this is bad. It does, it has the same taste uh, as this. It's not good. Yeah, this is, yeah. I'm giving this a thumbs down. I'm just going to say that. The, 
they also actually sold this at the same store in a bottle this size in a one gallon container that had the same logo doesn't this look like a 70s kind of logo like the font on the label looks like that 70s show kind of font Yeah, I don't even want to finish this. It's not good. This label had some problems, too. It's like... There's a fold in the label. Like, it wasn't put on professionally. You know? It's like a sticker, but there's like a... Fold in the middle of it. Ugh. That's not, that's not good. I don't know if it's just the bottle itself. Or if it's just the water. But it does not taste good. Alright. That is much better. It's like washing out the taste of that other bottle. Okay, so clearly this is the winner, the Aqua 8.4. This says that it's called that because it has 84 minerals in it. So this is moving on to the next round. And it says it has a, it says it has a pH level of 9. In round 2 I'm going to do another pH test and see if that's accurate or not. So thanks for watching everyone. Bye.